you know, the Alkin and Makin maple longbow has really worked. I uh, had 630 bowstrings in my bank. I cut about 800 maple logs, made some maple longbows, strung them, so we went up from 55 to 60 fletching. Still five levels away from the U short bows, obviously, but I mean, these elk for, let's see, does it, does it show? 384 GP, and one nature rune, on average, only costs me 185, so I make 200 GP profit per one that I elk, so I've got 560k, and obviously I had about 200, 300 nature runes, I bought 100 and... 10 extra now, so I have a few extra nature runes, but the thing is, I still have 150k, so honestly, that's a solid money making, you know, you just make some maple longbows, you train your woodcutting, woodcutting 62 by the way, and you train your fletching, and you make cash, by, and I just buy uh, 70 per world, and that said, easy as pie. I think the era of us being poor on this account is officially over. I have 502 U short bows strung, which out for a quarter more than this is worth. So that's uh, plenty of money. I got up to 69 wood cutting, mostly through maples and a little bit through use. For 66 fletching, as you do need 66 to get uh, 65, sorry, to get maple short you short bows and then we are very close to being able to make you long bones bows which oh my god which will give us way more monies um so now i'm gonna buy 500 nature runes in a world that's not bought out and uh elk elked a lot and then we have a lot of money and using that money we can buy death runes for our slayer task duroth and hopefully we can also start using what's it called Chaos runes instead of mind runes because well there's an easy way for us to get some good money so oh my fucking god okay well anyway I'm gonna go elk these and we're pretty much done with Alkin we've got only four more to go we've got about 240k and you know what that means it means going to the Ferroc magic shop and getting ourselves some death runes so we can continue our tour of task so last hundred I'm gonna buy and we have 800 death runes almost 10k mind runes and still 91k left and if we want to get another 250k I'll just make 500 more you short bows which gives us some really good XP for fetching and a little bit for crafting with the bowstrings but honestly I mean pretty decent it's quite fast getting the U logs and everything so I'm not complaining it's got some decent money making why did I tell you to that up? <laughs> and if we manage to make you longbows, up goes the profit. So, in one of the previous clips, I said that I still had to kill Turoth and buy a lot of death runes for that, but my task was not Turoth anymore. And now I wasted <laughs> a lot of money on death runes. And I honestly, I don't know what is my task. Let's have a look. My task is to kill blue dragons but for blue dragons I want to get 70 agility but seeing as I'm doing something really active on my main I can't do anything active on here so I have to do something afk so I figured do some more wood cutting for and fletching for the money and we just got 70 wood cutting so not bad at all okay we're gonna get level 70 agility in a second you know, I had a blue dragon task, but it only had 68 agility, so I figured let's get 70 so we can go to Teverly Dungeon much easier. So now we unlocked the pipe cut shortcut to the black, to the blue dragons at Teverly Dungeon, which means we can kill 163 of them that we have for task, save the bones much easier, train our prayer, and just have a nicer looking agility level, so I mean, and 42 marks of grace, so I'm not complaining, quite happy about that. Okay, so we have a beginner clue and a medium clue, I got it from a bird nest and a fishing bottle. <clears throat> Let's have a look, 
beginner clue? Nothing. Uh, first beginner clue in the account as well, you know. Not expecting anything. Medium clue. For a Zami page and a gnomish fire lighter. That's good monies. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we can't use the pages because we can't complete the quests that allows you to have the books. And if I'm correct, the gnomish fire lighter is a new item though. Um, yeah, semi page, second semi page. Two armor pages, yeah, okay, that's. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, and that's good. A Eddie plate, I had full Eddie, um, but by accident I alked the plate buddy. So now I have another one for free. Um, we also have a hard clue, which I don't think I'll ever be able to complete, but we can have a look at it because we can actually just go here and yeah we can have a look might as well try right might as well um i think seeing as this is our sixth step that it will be the last step of the hard clue and our first hard clue on this account ever with these stats so uh also <coughs> this amount of quest points so uh, i'm quite excited because i did not expect that we could actually complete a hard clue and that effortlessly as well you do need a lot of quests and skills maybe some melee stuff uh, like attack to equip certain items so we're just going to go to the bank uh, deposit everything and open the hard clue okay so let's have ourselves a looky okay oh mm -hmm -hmm. rune axe so i spent 40k <laughs> for rune axe not long ago but we have a gothic player buddy. Oh, we of course we've not completed Dragon Slayer, so we can't even wear this. And an ancient page, which well, is useless, like the page we got from the medium clue. But at least, um, I mean, at least we have some nice extra items. Another page. This is pretty cool. So I mean, mm -mm, I ain't complaining. Well, we've done. A beginner clue, medium clue, hard clue, but I just found another easy clue nest in our bank, so we're gonna have a medium clue, easy clue done. Uh, might as well, right? We might as well do this as well. Well, never mind. <laughs> I was just getting this stuff from your bank, and it says equip a oak short bow, and well, oak bows are level 5 ranged, so I'm just gonna deposit this back here act like nothing ever happened and um probably just gonna go and elk all of these yeah that sounds like a plan i need to buy some more runes just okay we can go to nightmare zone i think i hope can we can we go tell it to nightmare zone i hope so i don't think so to be honest okay let's have a look nightmare zone eight minutes so i guess we'll walk okay let's go out make some monies spend the monies on chaos runes to use firebolt on the blue dragons as to make it much faster than um yeah fire striking them also we have 672 of these times i think it was 400 something 480 so that's uh Th big 300k so th that's not bad money and our fletching level is now 68 that means two more levels we can make the u longbows which make the profit so much more we also did get a level a little crafting level so just keeping you guys up to date on the stats because i don't show you each level that i do get but i figured it's nice to just sometimes update a little bit like oh yeah we got this to now and then we got that and then such and so and of course whilst here we go to burst to claim our sand so I elked all me you short boss I made about 320k after of course buying all the nature runes plus 150 ish extra now I spent 230k on that leaving 100k over and buying 2170 chaos runes now with the amount of chaos runes that I have in my bank which is only 74 um I can go and do blue dragons much, much more easily, uh, much quicker than <coughs> doing fire strike. We're going to do fire bolt, as we do have the chaos gauntlets, obviously, uh, which will be really good for us to do more damage. It pretty much does 
one max damage less than the blast, the fire blast. So the chaos gauntlets are an amazing upgrade. Um, without having to spend way more money on, well, death runes. So we have this now. We can train magic and defense and HP much quicker. Still trying to go for 70 defense so we can do some barrows. I'm thinking maybe it's worth doing barrows earlier on so we can also get some more runes from that. So that's that's easy, but we've got 163 um, blue dragons as a task. Now, that will be easy as pie, seeing as I also unlocked the agility shortcut and We've done a lot of these before without the shortcut, so it's going to take four salmon. Don't think we need much more. Usually drop the food anyway. We're fully geared out. We've got the spell ready. Can kill plenty of dragons with this, I think. So I already have a lot of blue dehyde, and I will get a lot more blue dehyde because I do loot them as well. I will loot the bones as well so we can pr train the prayer. But uh, if we get 66 crafting which is only 12 levels away it technically shouldn't take that long uh, we can train a poop ton of crafting and elk it for a poop ton of money